Hamtech, welcome to my gadget channel. Today we're looking at the M5 Stack Core S3. We've already got the Core 2, and this is the box that it came in, and we've been using it with our ham radio items running signal meters ETC. They call this the ESP32 Basic Development Kit 2.7, and this is the new enhanced model, which has some add-ons. So let's take it out of the box. Now this is quite a new product, June 2023. I've not really seen many videos on this, and the ones I have seen it, they seem very uh, keen on the product. So uh, for me, it's just another geeky thing to, to play, play with, mixed in with all my ham radio. I use drones, 3D printing, and just basically enjoying gadgets, and I learn them from the point of view as if I know nothing. So the Core 2 does have a built-in battery, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi. It's great fun, the way that you can just put an SD card in it, load different firmware. You can also use this thing called an M5 burner, which is pre-made firmware that's on, free on a website. You can just load it up, connect your Wi-Fi, use your SD card to configure things, which is here. And away you go, and I've added an extra battery, and that's why that red section is uh, says battery, because it lasts long, and there's an on-off switch at the back, on-off sort of reset switch there, USB-C, so that's the older one. Let's get the newer one out, so straight away, I can say that it's, uh, you know, it's, it's bigger. It's the same, you know, it's the same screen size, but it's a bigger, chunkier device. Apparently, this one's got a bigger battery, I think it's 500 milliamps. The add-on battery on this one is 750 milliamps there so let's see if we can turn it on because i'm looking at this in the way that i have never seen it before so you've got sd card here looks like there's an on off switch there dc input 9 to 24 volts power off on it says din base there speaker here here it says port c rtvg is that a visual thing and port b can you have external visual connections is that what that is and then they've done this in a way where you can hang it i'm not sure if the bits that you put here are inside the box here so let's see if we can get that out so yes they have so all your little hangy bits there and your allen key you can see there you've got your allen key but that's okay we'll look at that another time this is just unbox turn it turn the device on and let's see what it does so it says power on off i'm just going to flick that to on then I believe if we hold down this, it should fire up. It's this way around because you've got a camera here. So let's hold it down a bit longer. Yeah. Wow. So quite a cool, look at that. <laughs> yeah, quite an impressive sort of boot up there. It's quite bright. I'll see if I can dim it down a bit so we can look at uh, what eventually comes through. Right, we'll just flick through some of these selections. So at the moment we've got Wi-Fi here. We'll just tap that and it's scanning. There's that there. If we go back, camera, it's gonna show my phone recording it back. Power. Okay, it's measuring all the power. That's cool. IMU, I don't know what that is. Calibration data, so that looks like compass data. Go back. SD card, there's not an SD card in there. Touch. 12 volts 12c that says power let's go forward scanning wi-fi camera dual microphone blah 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 <laughs> right let's see what other menus we can find if we go back Let's try the power one. USB in. Now I did find another menu when I was trying to dim the screen. The other menu was here, tap here. 
and then you've got sleep, sleep awake, sleep, shut down, LCD brightness, and quit. And then you go out. So I think that's enough for now. Just wanted to do a quick unboxing. I need to spend a couple of days just learning this device. I'm so used to this, you know, the original one, uh, that I need to learn this one. So thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now.